Hey everybody, I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week what's popping and dropping is a basket pop-up card. So this is what it'll look like when we have it pulled out of our envelope and then it pops up and then we can have it displayed on you know a counter or wherever they want to display it and it says thinking of you and i just think this is so cute and it's a woven basket look at that and this one is a little too big and we could make a custom envelope for this but um i decided to make the file um a little bit smaller so we can fit it in a regular size envelope if we want and of course you could always make it bigger yourself too and just make a custom envelope so why don't we go ahead and head over to design space and we can see what's in the file so we'll know what our materials need to look like and i'll meet you over there in design space i'll see you there okay guys now that we are in design space this is what the file will look like when you open it up these are the pieces that I will be using. If you want to add anything to it, why don't we go ahead and do that. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project. And we can get our pieces cut out and then we can meet at the craft table and we'll put it together. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we're at the craft table, why don't we get our pieces that look like this and then all of our pieces that look like that and our pop box little mechanisms and we'll need two uh, rubber bands and the rubber bands are a size 12 that I got off of Amazon they are one and three fourths by one sixteenth of an inch and we'll need two of these and if they're bigger you can always um, tie them in a knot or wrap it around the mechanism several times and it's okay if they're smaller than this too you just don't want them too small so the first thing we'll, we can work on is our score lines so i'm going to go ahead and fold all of the score lines on these pieces here so why don't we go ahead and do that and i'm also going to uh, snip the edges here on my ends so i'm going to go ahead and do that So once we've worked our score lines on our base of our flower pot holder, our basket, what we can do is we're going to take one long piece and one short piece and we're going to adhere it to the side that doesn't have the tab. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So it should look like this. Y'all don't have one of these. I'm telling you, these things are the best little things. And they have them at the Dollar Tree. Just about every Dollar Tree I've gone to in the craft section, they have them. It just looks like a little piece of rubber, but it'll get glue or sticky off of just about anything. So... We've done this piece. Why don't we go ahead and do our next piece? The same thing. We're going to glue the um, short piece to the long piece and where there is no tab. So it should look like this. So let's do that. Now we can get our long piece that has the four legs on it 
and how we're going to do that is this piece is going to go on the bottom and then we are going to go under our piece here so there's this larger section at the bottom we'll go under this first tab and then we're going to go over the next and just where we're weaving it so the next one will be under and then the next one is over and then our last one will be under and this will line up evenly with our bottom right here so we just need to you can either lift it up or push it forward i like to lift mine up and we're just going to put a little glue on our piece here push it back down and you will line it up with the edge of our basket so it's looking like that then this piece here if you notice where the point is we're going to fold that in half i should put a score i need to go do that put a score line there but let's just fold that give it a crease and that is where we'll put our glue after we get it on you could wait until you put this on and then fold it over it's just a little bit more difficult for me to do it that way so once we have that folded we're going to go under so we'll skip this piece and we'll go under the first little slide and then we're going to come up through the next one So it should look like that and then our next one we're going to go under again and then this tab will go over and our last one under And then we're just going to bump it all the way up the score line up to the top of our basket so it should look like that on that side and on the back or the inside of it it'll look like this and what we're going to do is put a little glue on the front and the back of our little border here and then just glue it down and we're going to do the exact same thing to this other basket. That is looking so cute. A little woven basket. And the same thing on our little section over here. Our larger piece will go at the top and our smaller one will be at the bottom. But I'm going to do our fold here before I get started. So if you find just the two points on the side, 
and line a ruler up there. Because I didn't think about putting the score lines here. And then we can just fold that over. But we're going to go under on this piece that goes at the bottom and then over, under, over, under. And then you'll just do the same thing. Get it lined up on your piece. And then put a little glue and glue that down. So on this one, we're going to go under, over, under, over, and under. And it should look like that. And on this piece, we're going to put a little glue on both sides of it. So let's do that. Cute. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and do this piece. Now that we have our two pieces woven and put together, what we can do is take our long piece and our short piece and we can connect the baskets like so. Okay. So we can go ahead and do that and make sure you're putting your tab on the inside of your woven basket so it's not seen. Now we should have one long piece. So yours should be looking something like this. Okay, now we're going to get out our grass. And on this tab right here, we're going to hide our little green tab that we have here in our little woven piece right there. See how I've slid it under this piece? And then we won't see it on this side. And when you put your grass in, you want, if you do this tab facing you, the next tab you want going the opposite and it'll work better doing it like that so in my last one i only used two pieces of grass but this time in the woven part this time i'm going to use three so you are going to use this one this one and this one to hide our tabs so you can use tape or glue I'm going to use a little glue and then just slide it right underneath to hide it. So if you push that down a little, you can just slide that right in there. Like so. And we can't even see it from the front. So this piece I have facing towards me. So my next one, I'm going to have going the opposite way. 
So I'm going to have the tabs going away from me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to put a little glue here and then put it on, hide it on my next tab. going to have it facing back towards us again and doing it like this before we connect our basket completely together makes it a little bit easier so facing towards us so this is what it's looking like i want just flappy here then what we can do is take and put glue or tape here and then connect our basket together like so. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So there we have that. Now with our pieces over here, We'll do the exact same thing we did on this side so let's do that you'll put a little glue or tape and weave it in and hide it right here behind this tab this tab and then this tab okay so let's do that baskets looking like this and I don't know if I'm really liking the second one but there but we're gonna go with it now these two pieces one's gonna go in the front and one is gonna go in the back so we'll line one like that and glue it on the inside right inside on our base so why don't we do that And then we'll do the same thing on this back one here. It's looking, I'm loving it. Now, all we need to do is go in and put whatever decoration you're putting inside of your card. But before we do that, I think what we should do is make these so they can be sitting in drying so we have one two three four five six score lines in this okay all are going to be a mountain fold except for the fourth one and that will be a valley so it's going to be mountain 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 valley mountain mountain and then we're going to take glue and put it in our valley right there and our two circles will come together like so so let's let that dry and then do our folds again so mountain 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 valley mountain mountain and then we're going to go down to our valley and glue it together. And get our other one. And we're going to turn this upside down. And we're going to have our little moon shape on the left hand side. And then we're going to take our rubber band. And we're going to put it in our two holes with where this piece is sticking up. 
where our two holes are right here. So we'll just put our rubber band over it like so. Shimmy it through the holes, the rubber band. And you want the majority of the rubber band to be on the side of the moon. Because what we're going to do is twist it and go around it one more time. Now, if you have a smaller rubber band, you won't need to do this. And if you have a larger rubber band than what we're using here, you might need to do it um, two times. Then what we're going to do is take this part here and we're going to fold it into our moon. Like so right in that score line. Then we're going to take our rubber band that's on the back side over here and we're going to put it around our moon where it's going to go in those holes like so. Then we're going to fold this back piece up, fold our moon so it's back together like so. And then we're going to put glue all over our moon in this part too. And then we'll fold it up like so. So why don't we do that? Put it and give it a little squeeze. And then while this one is drying, why don't we go ahead and get our other piece that was sitting back there drying and we're going to finish that one. So we want our moon to the left and we want this piece sticking up straight like so. We're going to take our rubber band to go over it, slide it into our little holes. The majority of our rubber band should be on the moon shape side. Give it a twist, like an X, and then we're going to go over the back of it again and go through those holes on the side. And then we should have this on the opposite side of our moon. Fold our piece down into our score line. Pull our rubber band up and over our moon and put it in the holes there. Like so. And then we're going to fold this piece down back to what, how it belongs into our moon. Glue and then fold up so we have our box. So let's put the glue on and finish that. And now we're just going to let these dry while we continue on. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly put my pieces on this. You guys, when you glue your pieces on, you can put them anywhere. Um, on your grass and it's just totally up to you how you want to do it if you want to place it in front of the grass or behind it but just put a little glue on it and then start placing your stuff down and I'll be back to show you how to put these um, two pieces on Okay guys, so I have my basket done. I did have just a few extra flowers left over and this is what it's looking like and this back here says, hello spring. And I just love how this turned out. I just think it's so cute. But now, onto our little make it a pop-up. Decide which way you want it to pop open. So I want mine to pop open like this. So I'm going to lean it more towards my right. So if I want it to pop open like so, I need to figure out which way my little 
mechanisms are going. So we want it to fold down like so. Okay. So to, to fold down like this, that means it's going to lay flat like that. So we would put our corner with glue here and here. Uh-oh. And we would stick this right in the edge, like so, of our basket. And then we would just lay it down once we had the glue on it. And then it would pop open like so. Okay? So if you're going to do it to the right, you push it down like that. You want to make it lay flat towards the right. So the easiest way I remember how to put my glue on, if I squish it and I pinch on my right hand, this side and this side where I'm not pinching it is where the glue will go. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on and then put it in my corner. So glue and glue, I'm still pinching it. So we're going to lay it in this back corner right here and we're just going to lay it right in that corner where it's in that fold and then we can push it down like so and let it hold for a second and that's what it looks like on the inside right there and then we just need to do the same thing but I'm going to take one of my clips and give it a pinch while I'm figuring out which way this side needs to go. For our opposite corner, we want it to push down like so. So our rubber band should be on our right hand side. And we are going to put glue, if our rubber band is here, like so. We need to put glue here and on the bottom and put it in the corner. So I'm just placing this corner in our corner down here and then I'm going to smush it down. So there we go. So there we have it. It pops right up very nicely. This just turned out so freaking cute, guys. And this would be so nice to display anywhere in your house. I always like displaying cards and stuff that people send me. But do you guys know how flowers with whistle <laughs> by using their tulips? Guys, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me. And don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye.